let's take a quiz on this topic the rights and duties of partners first every partner is bound to attend dash to his duties in the conduct of business a systematically b diligently c sincerely d effectively now you know all the options seem pretty much correct in this but we've done this line every partner is bound to attend diligently to the duties in the conduct of them i also explained you the meaning of diligently diligently means carefully meticulously you know without negligence with due care okay so this is the answer in the absence of partnership deed interest on capital is charged for a fixed period of a 12 months b 6 months c 3 months d not payable if there is no partnership deed then interest on capital is charged for a fixed period of 12 months 6 months 3 months or not payable c this is one of the rights of partners that they should get interest on their capital however they can get interest on their capital only if it is mentioned in the partnership deed however in this case there is no partnership deed itself so no interest is payable okay let's check that is the answer next interest on capital will be allowed only when a there are heavy losses in the firm b there are no profits and losses c there are profits d always it will be allowed only when there are profits or only when there are losses or there are both or d always no by applying common sense you can come to the conclusion that interest on capital is a payment to the partner okay now this payment is over and above profits so at first place there need to be profits they have a right to share the profits correct but these profits need to be existence at first place when there are no profits how can you give interest from where will you give interest you cannot give interest when you do not have profits when you are in losses from where will you pay the interest to the partners you cannot pay so the important condition is to pay the interest on capital to the partners there should be profits okay in case of partnership in the event of losses unless agreed otherwise the loss is to be borne by all the partners in oh sorry all the partners a equally b in profit sharing ratio c in capital ratios d by draw of lots now if there are losses in the partnership and no ratio is determined then in which ratio should the losses be borne they should be borne in the ratio of the profit the profit sharing ratio now you know most of the students when they read this question immediately answer equally that is you know the common mistake the students do i'll tell you you know if the partnership deed is silent you know if the partnership deed is silent we have two conditions first profits should be 
distributed equally second losses should be distributed in psr that is profit sharing ratio now you need to remember these two points that means if partnership is uh, deed is silent then profits are to be distributed equally however losses are to be distributed in the profit sharing ratio now whatever the profit sharing ratio is losses are also to be shared in that ratio now let's say the partnership deed is silent about both so what will be my profit sharing ratio it will be equal so what will be my loss sharing ratio then my loss sharing ratio will also be equal but however you know the partnership deed says that profits should be shared in the ratio 3s to 2s to 1 amongst the partners abc but there is no mention of losses then in that case the losses should also be shared in the psr that is 3s to 2s to 1 okay next under the indian partnership act 1932 in the absence of an agreement among the partners profit of a firm shall be divided in the ratio of now we get the same question the options are a capitals contributed by partners b equally amongst the partners c volume of business done by the partners d to be decided by the court if partnership deed is silent what is the ratio that the act that this partnership act suggests it is equally we just now did it this is pretty simple next every partner has a right to a be remunerated c be consulted c receive interest on capital d do his own business what is the right of the partner is this the right of the partner no prima facie no however if all the partners agree and if it is in the partnership deed then he may get remuneration is this this is the right in all the cases is this the right again no only if it is mentioned in the partnership deed and the firm has profits only then they get is this the right no he cannot do his own business so the answer here is right to be consulted this is the correct answer next in profit sharing if profit sharing ratio is not specified in the partnership deed then the profit is shared a equally b according to the seniority of partner c according to the capital contribution d according to qualification this is again a repetition if profit sharing ratio is not specified in the partnership deed it has to be shared equally amongst all the partners we have already done this next in the absence of specific provisions in the partnership deed every partner is bound to contribute in dash to the losses of the firm again this is a repetition now we are talking about losses and the partnership deed is silent so it has to be distributed in p s r that is the profit sharing ratio okay next every partner of a partnership firm has a right to take part in the conduct of business of the firm a true b false c true subject to contract between the partners d true subject to the desire of the firm customers or clients every partner has the right to take part in the conduct of the business of the firm is this true or false or is this subject to the contract between the partners or is this subject to the desire of the firm or the customers or the clients normally if you ask me i would have answered it as true 
but if you remember the first line that we studied when we were doing the rights it is always subject to the agreement amongst the partners so yes partners have rights but those are subject to the agreement the contract between them so the answer in this case would be true subject to the contract between them because you know if they choose if they opt if they agree that this should not be the right then it will not be the right they may you know possibly bar out one or two partners from carrying out the business and that is you know that depends on the agreement between them next as per the agreement profit should be shared equally but loss should be borne by one partner then the partnership agreement is a lawful b illegal c void d voidable now in this case the agreement says that profit should be shared equally but loss should be shared only by one partner so such an agreement such a partnership deed is lawful or is it illegal or is it void or voidable i you know this ask for some common sense in this case the answer is the the question is that can one partner be liable for the losses of the firm when the other partners are sharing the profits they are getting a right in the profits yet they are not sharing the losses the loss is borne by only one partner so can it be possible can such an agreement be legal it can always be legal because as long as the partners are agreeing to it it all the partners are agreeing to it even the person who is you know ready to share the loss he himself has also agreed to it others have also agreed to it so as long as all are agreeing to it it is pretty much lawful okay so it all depends on the agreement between the partners